All right, sir, you're just gonna look straight at me. Yeah. Uh, can I have your first and last name? Josh Taylor. And how do I spell your first and last name? J-O-S-H-T-Y-L-O-R. And what is your rank? Lieutenant Colonel. And your unit? 213 Infantry Battalion. And your position or title? Battalion Commander. Sir, what's going on this morning? Well, this morning we're, we're conducting the first pilot ship uh, from a basic training combat battalion to an advanced individual training battalion since the stop move's been put in place. How many soldiers did you have out here this morning? 423. And where are they all going to? They'll leave from here. They'll go uh, to Fort Lee, Virginia. Okay, so uh, we understand that we kind of had to, to hang on to these guys after mm -hmm. they graduated uh, because of the, the COVID-19 pandemic that's going on. Um, how has that affected your unit? Well, it's been it's been instrumental, but it's been a uh, it's been a good learning experience as well. As our it didn't just affect the soldiers; it affected the cadre and how that the cadre continued to deliver effective training while changing things to create space for social distancing to do the preventative measures uh, to to mitigate against the risk of COVID-19. For the soldiers themselves, you know, they've gone through basic training, so they're no longer trainees. They continue to be a soldier in training, but they're now soldiers. All right, so it's giving them, turning our drill sergeants pivoting to give a little bit more control back to the soldier so they can take a more active role in their learning experience. So I imagine uh, for the past two weeks that it, things have been a little bit different for these, these soldiers. And I imagine that there's been a lot of cleaning going on. Can you tell me about cleaning the areas that these guys live in? Uh, to, to a large degree, right? Because you know our, our best measure uh, to fight against COVID is, is is cleanliness, right? It's not only social distancing, but ensuring we're washing our hands, ensuring we're keeping our areas tidy, uh, wiped down. Uh, that's been a large piece of it. In particular, the last two days, uh, we, they've basically gone through and done a, a GI cleaning of the entire barracks, not only for their own safety, but to prepare for the next group of soldiers that are coming in right behind them. Do you think that all these measures that you have taken, not only with personal cleanliness, but cleanliness of their living spaces and their working spaces, mm -hmm. has um, helped you guys not be affected by the virus? Absolutely. I, I think it, it's played a large part of it. Uh, we can control only the things that we can control, right? So uh, the, there's still you know, the risk of it injecting from somewhere else on, on the installation, but we've, we've taken our active measures uh, to mitigate the majority of that risk and uh, more so to to keep training, right? Because that's been important because we've got to maintain morale and discipline uh, for the soldiers and themselves. How has the morale and discipline been for the, the soldiers? Extremely high, extremely high. If you look at overall uh, what they've been asked to do, right? And you, you bear in mind, a lot of these soldiers were, were National Guard or Reserve uh, component. And they thought they were gonna come here for 10 weeks, they're gonna take a break and they're gonna go to their eight week advanced individual training or 10 week advanced individual training and some of them are going to start school next fall or go back to their families or do some other things, right? But Army-wide, we've been under the, the stop movement. Uh, so there's, there's, they've not been able to move on to their advanced individual training, which uh, they could look very inwardly and, and think about woe is me, but they, they've not been like that. They've absolutely soldiered on. Uh, they've embraced it. The resiliency they've, they've shown uh, throughout, the effort they've given toward training to getting better at, at PRT, at physical readiness training, to the effort they put into their individual classes and really just keeping the morale up of each other throughout. It's been amazing to watch. So you've talked about in the past few weeks that, that these guys have been kind of held over since graduation, mm -hmm. that uh, your cadre has had to take uh, additional measures to further their training. Uh, what kind of training have, have these uh, individuals received? So some of it is, is, is a reintroduction of skills and tasks that they, they learned during basic training. Uh, but we've tried to take it a step further and get to some more professional development training, uh, some more advanced individual MOS training. So taking our, our MOSs, our military occupational skill sets from across the battalion, aligning them with cadre that are in the same MOS and having some small group discussion, some of those classes. And then we've taken a step further, some of the things that they, they won't learn until they get to their first unit of assignment, like how to read a, a, a leave earning statement, an LES. Uh, what TSP is, some of the financial classes, what ACS services can do for you, what the post services do for you, some of those things. We've also given control back to some of the the, uh, the soldiers themselves uh, to lead a PRT session, to take, you know, to have a more active role in those leadership positions subordinate to the drill sergeants. Do you think that these measures are going to set these soldiers up for even more success once they hit AIT? I do. It'll at least instill them with a little bit more confidence, and they'll be a, a little bit more physically fit, and a little bit more polished by the time they get to AIT and then move on to their first unit of assignment. 
what went into setting this up today? I imagine that a lot of resources, a lot of manpower, and a lot of hours went into this. An extraordinary amount of coordination, well above my level, ha has gone on uh, just to secure the move, to, to get the buses aligned here, uh, to get the procedures put in place, to sterilize the buses, to have the, the, the soldiers separated, to do the screening of the bus drivers, the screening of the cadre that are going to go along with them to Fort Lee. So it's been a, it's been a full team effort. Sir, uh, you have answered all my questions. Is there anything that you would like to add or anything that you think somebody should know? No, not at all. Awesome. Thanks. Well done. Thank mm -hmm. you. I appreciate it.